Joel from Northern Beaches PA Hire in Sydney. And today we're going to have a quick look at our QSC K.2 speakers to see whether we need to update the firmware. Uh, there's been some instances of power shutdowns in 240 volt countries, Australia, New Zealand, Europe, uh, you know, bits of Africa, etc. Um, and so they've done a firmware update which you can install yourself after you download the file from QSC, Windows only, doesn't work on a Mac, um, and it's the update firmware for the speaker. And there's a simple process to follow, but it's quite crucial to get it right. So first of all, we're doing a few of our QSCs here. No audio input, we just turn the speaker on and we're gonna go into the settings, which is at the bottom of the LCD screen. And we're going to see, and this one is a K10 with 1.08. So that's needing to be updated. So turn the speaker off again. Then we have to pry off the volume control and under there is a micro USB input. On our PC, we opened up the updater and now we simply take the USB with the micro on the end and plug it in, making sure the speaker is off at this point. Then turn the speaker back on and then it will come up as a device. We've already done two on this list and it's uh, saying sync device. So we will sync our PC software and now it's saying the firmware needs updating, so we hit the update button. Now, crucially, we can see loading firmware on the back. We do not touch anything here. No power off, no micro USB out. If you're running on batteries, make sure you're plugged into the mains um, on your uh, laptop, because you know, otherwise you'll brick the module. And if that means that your uh, speaker has to go back to QSC, you don't want that. So we're going to be really careful. We can see the progress here and over there. It takes a couple of minutes. Um, but just stand back away from it. Don't trip over anything. Um, make sure you get this bit right. So we can see it's loading it and it's quite boring for you guys to watch. But it's very crucial that you do this if you're in a 240 volt uh, environment. I'm a hire company. I don't want my speakers going out to a nightclub with dirty power and getting cooked. Um, you know, I've seen that happen before. A lot of these venues don't have you know, very good power around here. Um, so we're going to make sure we, we can try and minimize any uh, risk to the speakers. Uh, and they're expensive. So the, you can see we're almost through the update. You probably can't see it here. It says loading firmware about 70%. Over there it says 75% on the uh, PC update screen. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to wait until it's completely finished. And then we go back into settings and check the firmware um, update has gone in. And we're using the correct firmware. So very boring, but very crucial. If you get stuck, call us at Northern Beaches BA Hi, We can help you or email us. Writing firmware, do not shut off. A very vital bit of uh, information there. Um, and so now we can go back into settings and we have the firmware updated at the top to 1.10. So then we can turn our machine off and then we take the cable out, put it back together. And that's all you have to do, but it's crucial to get it right. All the beaches PA High can help you. Email us or watch this video. Thank you very much. Cheers.